Hey guys, it's Biggest AG Fan Ever here, back again, and today I am here for a little haul. So the items that I'm going to be showing in today's haul are all retired items from American Girl. I bought all these items from someone local off of Facebook Marketplace. And the reason why I wanted to show these items to you was because I thought that a lot of these items were really cool, and most of you guys have probably never seen them. So. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start off with this bag here. And as you could tell, it is a Halloween bag and that is because this is an American Girl Halloween costume. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. So here is the entire outfit. And if you've never seen this outfit, I believe it is called the medieval Halloween costume. It is missing a couple pieces like the necklace and the trick or treat bag. But other than that, everything in this set is in really good condition. And I believe I only spent 10 to $15 on this outfit which is insane because usually it goes for like 50 to $70. So I believe this outfit was also from the late 90s, early 2000s, because it was in my 2001 catalog look through. So the first piece that we're going to take a look at is the crown. And what's interesting is that this crown is made out of like fabric, so it's not metal at all. It has Velcro in the back to get it on your doll's head. And then the front has these different colored jewels in the middle. And overall, this is really thick and good quality. I don't have a lot of outfits from the late 90s and early 2000s, so I was really surprised at the quality of this outfit. Next, we have these shoes, and they are kind of a goldish, brownish, black color. They're really cool and really heavy and good quality, but you can see that they are kind of a different color from the crown as well as the detailing on the dress. And then finally, we have the dress, and oh my gosh, this dress is so gorgeous. It's heavy and really good quality. So up at the sleeves, they are poofy and they have these cute little gold bows on them. They have different layers as well. There's like a tool layer with all the sparkles on it. And then underneath it, there's like a magenta layer. And then in the middle of the dress by the waist, there is basically the crown sewn on as well. And then there is a bow with some longer gold ribbons. And this material is velvet, and it kind of shifts between this purple color and a dark blue color. And then down at the bottom, you can see the tulle again, as well as the magenta pinkish color. And then the back of the dress is entirely velvet, and there's Velcro going halfway down. And then here is the tag as well. It says, Made in China for Pleasant Company. And I don't know if all of you know this, but American Girl used to be called Pleasant Company way back in the day. The next outfit that I bought was Nikki's tie top and shorts outfit. And this one was new in box and I believe I spent $20 on it. So here's everything that came in the set. Now let's go ahead and take a look at all the pieces in more detail. So starting off, the first thing that it came with was an American Girl hanger, and this is still sealed in the packaging. And honestly, I'm not gonna open it because I don't really need the American Girl hanger, so I might as well just keep it in the packaging. The next item that it came with was this tie top, and this top is so pretty. It's pink, green, and white, and it has some little fake pockets up at the top, and then it buttons down the middle and then ties at the very bottom. This definitely gives me very cowgirly vibes, as well as mid-2000s vibes, because that was when Nikki was available, and everybody definitely wore tops like this. To go underneath the tie top, there is this light pink tank top, and the tank top has this pretty light pink lace detailing as well, and there is Velcro on the back to help you get it on your dolls more easily. Next, the set comes with these cute khakis, and these definitely give me camp counselor vibes. They are an off-white color with pink detailing, and there are actual pockets on these, which is so cool. And then there is Velcro at the front to help you get it on your dolls. To go on the khakis, it came with this cute floral belt with a little belt buckle on the front. And this can actually go through the belt loops, which is super cool because then you can actually put it on your dolls. And then the final piece is these super cute shoes. They kind of have a cork texture at the bottom 
and then they have these really cool strappy details in a maroonish red color with some velcro to help you get it on your dolls more easily and then here are the bottoms of the shoes honestly I'm kind of surprised, but also not really surprised at how good of quality these are as well as everything else in this set. All of the material is super thick and seems really durable. And now the last thing that I bought was Mia's accessories. And if you have been around my channel for any time now, you know how much I have wanted Mia's accessories. When I got Mia back in 2008, her accessories were sold out, so I wasn't able to get them, and I have been hunting for years for them, and I finally got them. And I actually got these for $25 brand new in box. So here is everything all out of the box and honestly this set was the whole reason why I went to go pick up all of these items. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the items. Starting off let's take a look at the ice skates. They are all white with obviously the silver blades and they have white laces that tie up in the front. These are basically the same as all of American Girl's other ice skates, but they are still super cool. To go on the ice skates, the set comes with these two skate guards, and these basically cover the blades, and they are blue with silver glitter inside of them. And here's how they look when they are on the ice skates. Then to store the ice skates, it comes with this purple bag, and it says American Girl on it and it has this navy strap and a zipper that opens up and it's actually pretty big because it has to store both of the ice skates. So even with the ice skates in there, there's still plenty of room to put other things in there as well. And then finally, we have my favorite item of this set, the MP3 player as well as the headphones. So starting off with the MP3 player, which a lot of you guys might not even know what an MP3 player is, which makes me feel really old, but basically it is what we use to play music before we had music on our phones. So it says American Girl Dance Party Mix and it has a flower on it and a little play button. And when you press the button, it plays the song I Like Your Style, which is also a pretty big nostalgic song from my childhood. So I will just go ahead and play a short little bit of it for you guys to hear. So even though it's just kind of the notes of it and not the actual words, I still think that it's really cool, especially for 2008 technology. So to go on the MP3 player, there is this armband that snaps on to the back of it like that so that way you can put it around your doll's arm. And then when you're not using it, you can put the MP3 player in the dock here and you can see that the front of the dock says American Girl on it and it is pink and the mp3 player just goes into the dock like this so that way it can charge and then the final item that is included are these pair of over-the-ear headphones and back then in-ear headphones were not super common these were basically what everybody had and on the side it says ag on it and they have the little foam pieces that cover your ears and then there is a super long cord that attaches to the mp3 player and obviously the sound doesn't go into the actual headphones when you play it it is just for show but either way i still think that this set is super cool and i'm definitely glad that i have it so here we have my pleasant company samantha nikki and Mia all in the new items that I got and I think that they all look super cute in them and I guess that is it for this video if you guys enjoyed please be sure to leave this video a like also don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon so you'll be notified every single time that I upload and be sure to comment down below what your favorite item is that I opened up today go ahead and follow me over on my Instagram it is underscore biggest AG fan ever underscore to see behind the scenes of my channel, as well as some cute photos of my dolls. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.